Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Nina Foster and I'm the Upper Extremity Soft Tissue Specialist here at the beautiful um, Barefoot Rehab Clinic in downtown Denville, New Jersey. Uh, we're here today with my patient Anthony and he came to me with a diagnosis of a tear of the labrum and he had been scheduled for surgery. So people often are not really sure what the labrum means or what that is, so let's talk about that for a second. So our shoulder joint consists of our arm bone here and our scapula over here. That's what makes the joint of your shoulder. The scapula, however, is very flat, but the arm bone is very round. So if you try to put those together, they're not gonna move well, it's just not gonna be stable. So what the body does, because the body is genius, is the body made the labrum and the labrum just deepens and rounds out the socket of your shoulder so that you have stability in here so that your arm can move the way that we move our arms, right? Swimming and coming up this way and giving a high five, right? Throwing the ball when we play baseball. So that's the function of the labrum is to deepen the shoulder joint and make it more stable. And the labrum can tear in any number of ways. It can be degenerative, meaning that the shoulder joint is not very healthy and the labrum starts to fray a little bit and then something happens and it just tears. And then we can have trauma and the most common way for a labrum to tear in that circumstance is when we dislocate the shoulder. So when we dislocate the arm bone from the scapula here, it will pull on the labrum and tear it. Um, one of the most common types of tears is the slap lesion. I'm sure, you, you, I'm sure you may have heard of that before or if you have a labrum diagnosis, maybe they told you it was a slap lesion. Slap literally means superior, so the top part of the labrum that has torn from the front of your body to the back. So the superior part has torn from the front to the back. If you've been diagnosed with a tear of your labrum in your shoulder and you're considering surgery, I want you to listen to what I'm gonna tell you right now. So in 2017, they did a study on repair of the shoulder labrum, specifically the slap lesion that we talked about, the superior labrum that goes from anterior to posterior. Um, and what they did was a double-blinded sham surgery study and what that means is that some patients received surgery to repair the labrum and some patients didn't when we're double blind it means that neither the doctor nor the patient or the doctor's staff knows who's receiving surgery or not receiving surgery until they're literally on the table anesthetized and ready to go a sham surgery is where they get you all set up they get you under they will insert the instruments to do the surgery and then they will remove them and stitch you up and proceed like you had had surgery. What they found miraculously was that there was absolutely no difference in the outcome between people that received the actual surgical procedure to repair the labrum or those who underwent the sham procedure and received no surgery whatsoever. And the significance of this study is that the um, group of people that they did it on were patients with a mean age of around 40 years old. So we're not talking about athletic patients, we're talking about our average middle-aged adults. Um, so before you consider having surgery to treat your labrum, wouldn't it be better to come and see me I am the only upper extremity soft tissue specialist that's certified to find and remove adhesion in the entire country. And I just happen to be here in New Jersey. Uh, come and see me and see what we can do for you. And maybe you still have surgery, but you'll be better prepared by removing the adhesion. And maybe you won't need to have surgery. Surgery has a lot of things attached to it, right? There's a lot of risks. You could get an infection the surgery might not work at all, it might not help, uh, and then you're laid up for several weeks having to do other things, physical therapy, potentially taking pain medications, and there is always that risk of it making things worse. Um, so please, come and see me here at Barefoot Rehab in downtown Denville, 
check me out on Instagram at rad underscore arm underscore doc. Uh, you can also check us out at barefootrehab.com. And we have a lot of great videos on our YouTube channel as well. Uh, so if you're considering labrum surgery or if you're scheduled for labrum surgery, come on in and see me.